CPU spikes, frame rate issues, and stuttering. What does that all mean? And how do we fix it? We're going to break out into that in this episode for Tech Thursday. So for today's episode of Tech Thursday, we're going to bust into what is causing our, our stuttering in SIM, what is causing our frame rate issues, um, kind of how we're going to fix that. I know in previous videos we've covered um, like the flag that you're, you're blinking or your connection flag that is going to start popping up on the screen. But I found another way that a lot of people may not know how to fix it. I also found an issue um, with the video that Dave Cam put out it where he explains how to fix stuttering and core parking with, um, with the registry edit. And I did find that after a while, that seems to go away. I don't know if that's a Windows update that caused it or if just rebooting the machine caused it to go away. But... With with my machine, I did notice that core parking turned back on. Dave's video is great. I'm not trying to knock it. Um, it's 100% correct in what it's fixing. But I've found a more permanent way that that will survive, and it's going to use two pieces of software. So for that, we're going to use Process Lasso and Park Controller, the two pieces of software that we're going to use. So these are the two pieces of software that I've started to use. Uh, park control as well as process lasso is is what you see behind here. Um, both made by the same place. I actually have the paid for versions of both of these because um, it does give you a little more flexibility. But if you want to try it, you can use the free version and it will work. So don't don't be afraid there. Um, with park control, it allows us to turn on or turn off core parking. Uh, depending on load and all of that stuff. But the big thing is, is what is core parking? It's Windows way to try to save power on your machine, which obviously if we're using a data intensive program like iRacing is, we don't want to use parked cores. We want to be able to use everything. Granted, iRacing is single core dependent. So what we're trying to do is unlock the other cores so it can run all the rest of the stuff, i.e. Windows, Race Labs, DRE, Crew Chief, whatever you use uh, when you're in SIM, we're trying to open that processor up to be able to be used by other things so we're not overloading it, we're not dragging down the system, and, and we're able to race more efficiently. Um, so before you go ahead and do the process lasso part that I will also show you, I would highly, highly suggest downloading Park Control. The link is down in the description. Um, so if you want to pause, go ahead and download that and get it running. We'll run through the settings that I have here on screen and why I do here in just a second. Okay, now that you're back. So as I said, this is this is Park Control. Um, it's a very basic program. It's nothing super crazy, but there's just a couple of quick settings that you'll want to do. Uh, the first thing you want to do is make high performance active uh, because obviously we're, we're going to be gaming. We want it on. Um, now, assuming that you're on a desktop, which I could be wrong, you could be on a laptop, um, we're mainly going to be focused on the plugged in part. Um, obviously, your desktop is plugged in all the time. You don't have a battery. So uh, just go ahead and turn off parking and frequency scaling. So click the two radio buttons, um, you know, make sure that's off. I left all of this standard. Click apply. If you're on a laptop and you sometimes unplug while you're racing, uh, you may want to go ahead and turn those off on battery as well. But make sure you are on high performance mode. At that point, you should see, 20, like with mine, I'm running a 12th Gen i7. It's got 20 cores. It's got, you know, 10 of them are logical or 8 of them are logical and um, are physical and then the rest are, are logical. So make sure that you see, you know, 20 out of 20 and you should see your your gigahertz basically maxed out for whatever processor you have. Um now, with the paid version, you can click on some dynamic boosts and things of that nature. Um, I just don't. It just doesn't make sense to me to do that. The main thing that I'm concerned with is the actual core parking. So that is that is park control. Um, and you'll want to make sure that when you're done, click OK. It'll run down in your system tray. That's OK, because uh, we want this to actually run while we're, while we're doing things. Now, the other thing here is process lasso. Um, and quite frankly, it looks like a more intuitive task manager is really what it is. Um, 
this will basically list every process you've got going uh, on the computer. It'll show your CPU, your RAM utilization. It's got a pretty decent graphic um, that works really nice. Uh, there's a few things once you get this downloaded that, that we'll want to go through. Like I said, this I have the paid version of because it does give you a little more power metering that you can control. Um, so that'll be a, a, a thing that you'll, you'll want to do. Um, so if you want to link is back down in the description. If you already got part control, you're already on the page. It's the button to the right. Just go ahead and, and download that, um, and get this running. So I'll pause for a second. I'll let you guys go ahead and do that. And then we'll be back here in just a second. Okay. Welcome back. So the first thing that we want to do is we're going to go to options. We're going to go to general, um, and we're going to make sure that, you know, our, our refresh intervals are set to five seconds a piece on the GUI and the governor. Um, just so that way your graphics not updating super crazy and it's going to give us a better vibe of what's going on overall. Um, you could leave it to default, but your graph's going to do this and it's going to update every five seconds. And we're looking just, what is our overall arch looking like? Um, logging, you quite frankly can turn this off. I mean, I, I don't really see a need to, to log. Um, it just doesn't make sense. But uh, the next couple of things that we're going to do, um, we're going to leave most of the rest of this like on you don't you don't really have to mess with anything because we're going to do it more um application or task based than we are anything else um so the first thing you want to do make sure you sort by process name um because we're going to be working with one thing in particular in iRacing um and i'm going to go ahead and load up a test session we'll get into the session um and then I'll I'll turn mine off and then we'll turn it back on and you'll you'll see what what we're dealing with here. So give me just a second. We're gonna go ahead and do that, um, and we'll be right back. Okay, so we're now in a Daytona trucks practice session. Um, we're just gonna jump in, get to somewhere where we can sit off by ourselves and actually do this. But uh, so with everything running, I'm sitting at about 90 FPS. Uh, there's 26 people in this practice. Obviously we have people in the stands. I've got everything turned up on high at this point. Um, so we'll go ahead and we're going to, oh, if I can click on it correctly, uh, we're going to turn off our priority. We're going to turn off our IO output and we're going to turn off our power profile. Come back to the car. We're sitting about 90 ish on the frame rates. Uh, but if we come back to process lasso, you could see, I mean, the CPU is just bugging out. You know, we're 75% usage and it's going up and down depending on the cars, right? So if we turn this back on to high and then our IO to high and our power profile to bit some high performance, we'll sit here for just a second. But we're sitting around at 6870 mark, which we're we're more even, right? We have we have less stuff going on. We're still sitting around 90, but we'll go ahead and do a lap around here real quick. And again, this is with everything cranked absolutely up. 
um you know we're, we're pulling 90 ish frames which is is pretty nice and i don't see cpu spikes we don't have page file spikes um you know everything looks really nice we'll see what it looks like when we go by the grandstands here um with all the stands in the grandstand because that definitely takes a lot too so as we come around the corner we're almost to 100 and we're going to start to see a dip or at least we should right because there's fans in the stands we're holding right at about 90 91 ish 94 ish a little bit down the 80s there because we've got the stuff on pit road uh, but as we clear pit road I mean that's that's pretty solid you know to not have any major spikes like that um and that's again we're pushing the processor we're pushing the graphics card so we'll pull in here and i know that this is we're gonna have a lot of people leaving here in a minute because this session's about to go live but the one thing that i want to do we're gonna go into um our graphics settings And let's just go with what I usually use for um, our our race stuff. I'll leave that. Take that to that. Everything looks good there. So this is what I usually want run for for race stuff. Let's see what our we gotta get off the pit road for this to look right. So we'll go back to where we were. Okay, so stop where we were before. We're still running about 90, 85, 90. Uh, CPU usage still fairly low. And actually, another interesting test would be to see... And you know, we'll hop back out of the car. And we're just going to go ahead and take our limit off. And we'll crank everything back to high really quick. Because that's what I should have done to begin with. Okay, so everything turned off, unlimited, running about the same. We're, we're right about that that 90 mark. Um, you know, we, we see some dip-offs, but again, to be expected. I think long run, though, I don't think you're going to see super high frame rates, but I think you'll be able to have things turned up and be able to... Um, you'll be able to... to not have screen tearing is is the most effective thing that i think you're gonna see here so like i said i would i would give this a shot i would i would get the process lasso the park control like i said you don't have to spend any money to do it you can get two free programs and it works quite well um i'll put the file that you're looking for in in process lasso down in the description as well so you know where to find it um i i highly suggest anybody to try this um because it seems to have made a major difference in my setup and that's with a 12th gen um i7 and a 4070 ti um, i'm sure probably with with lower grade machines it, it probably will make a better difference as well so uh, i encourage you all to try it if you have any questions please let me know in the comments i'll try to answer them as fast as i can for you guys um, but that is our tech thursday tip um, and if anybody has anything else that they want to see drop it in the comments i'd be glad to make a video about it until then guys see you at the races